What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. My name is Meg and today we are testing out the new CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. So today I am testing out this new CoverGirl foundation and I've heard some things on the interwebs about it. So I figured I would test it out for myself. Honestly, I feel like I've been so burned in my past couple of reviews with drugstore products. I was a little bit skeptical picking this up, but I figure I might as well see what it can do for 10 bucks. So if you'd like to see more, then keep on watching and we'll get right into it. So before we get into the actual review, I'm just going to go over some claims on this product. And can I just say that this makes me a little bit nervous, that this is literally the lightest shade and it seems pretty dark still. Um, I just wish they had a better shade range. Like this is what their shade range online is. It doesn't really look like they're catering to that many people, which is a concern because everyone should be able to find affordable products at the drugstore. Anyways. This is a hydrating vitamin infused formula for beautiful buildable coverage that glides on smoothly for flawless look. Special antioxidant and vitamin complex plus SPF 20 works together to make your skin look healthy all day. Gives your skin a luminous glow available in multiple shades from light to deep. And it doesn't really seem to be any other claims about lasting power or anything like that. I did get mine from Walgreens for $12.99 which when I looked online seemed to be one of the most expensive places to get it, but they did have a $2 coupon available, so it was really only $10. So of course I got the lightest shade ivory. I was debating between ivory and classic ivory, but classic ivory just looked too dark for me. So we'll see if this works. And if you guys aren't familiar, I do have super dry skin and sensitive skin. So if this is supposed to be illuminating and like make my skin look glowy, I'm all for that. I moisturize and then I just have this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer on top, which I've been liking lately. I got this in my Ipsy bag in a video for um, me trying those products on. will be up soon. But for now, let's go ahead and get into this. I will be applying this with a sponge. And then on the back, it does say that it is full coverage foundation. And it's supposed to be oil free. So this is kind of interesting how it just kind of like bloops out. As you guys can see, I do have a fair amount of redness on my face and some acne stars scars to cover. And today I did not wet my sponge, which is weird, but I have been liking the coverage that I've been getting without it being wet. I feel like you get a fuller coverage. And that was a lot of product, so a little does go a long way with this. I'm instantly not hating the way it looks on my face, which I can't say like the last time a drugstore foundation, I actually liked the way it looked on my face. So, so far so good. Honestly, like that little bit probably could have covered my whole face. So my goal was to only cover about half my face, but I used so much product. But you guys can kind of get the idea. I feel like it did, like I'm actually really impressed with this. I feel like it didn't, excellent job at covering up my redness like I didn't really have to work hard but as you guys can see it's still too dark of a foundation and I know the lighting is making me look pale but I do have a bit of a tan so that's just my personal issue with drugstore foundations and a lot of foundations is that this shit is not light enough for us pale people I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and be right back and then I'm like super hunched down right now, but I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, but I feel like it did oxidize because this is like about two shades lighter than what's on my face. So it does dry down darker than what's in the bottle. All right, you guys, so it's been about maybe 10 minutes since I finished applying this side of my face. All I did was add my under eye concealer and then I immediately set it because if I didn't immediately set that area, it would be crease city. So, so far I'm like really like shockingly impressed with the finish of this foundation on my skin. It just looks super nice, super flawless. I exfoliated yesterday and I don't see it sticking to any dry areas whatsoever, which is like amazing. Like I'm so impressed with this. It's not really breaking up on my nose, which has been an issue for me lately. 
and I feel like it did cover up the redness around my acne scars pretty well, but I feel like if you did have true like deep red like fresh acne, you might need to put on a second layer. But other than that, I'm like really impressed with the finish. It still feels a little bit tacky on my skin and when I tapped, I can see that some of the product did come off. So I feel like you do definitely need to set this foundation. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna use my RCMA translucent powder. Sorry if you can hear my dogs, they're just like going at it since I'm not out there <laughs> supervising them. Um, so far the only thing I don't like about this product is the shade of it. I had to bring it like all the way down my chest for it to like kind of match. I did wish that there was a shade that was like at least two to five shades lighter than what this ivory shade is. That's the only dislike so far. And then we will call check-in time 11.22 since I finished putting everything on for with the foundation. Um, and then I will be right back once my full face is on. It is now 12.02 p.m. I've had the foundation on for about 40 minutes. And so far, I'm really liking it. Again, the only thing I don't like is the color and how dark it is. And the one other thing I don't like is that from where I put my cream contour, I feel like it didn't blend well because I feel like there's a giant line like in the middle of my forehead and I can't get it to go away. So be careful if you're using cream products on top of this because I just feel like I just have a line in the middle of my head. But <laughs> other than that, so far so good. And here is a close up of what the foundation looks like on my skin. I feel like it looks really nice and flawless. And I will check in with you guys throughout the day to see how this wears. All right, you guys, so it is now 4.21 p.m. So I've had the foundation on for about five hours, and I will say it might not show because of all the lighting that I have in here, but I am starting to look a little bit shiny. Um, and I did set with the powder, so I'm definitely looking shiny in my forehead area. And then also like on my nose and then like right in here. Don't mind my fingers, I like paint all over. I was just at a painting class. Um, but other than that, I feel like it's still holding up really well. I feel like uh, the contour and the highlight that I put on is still shining through. I do still feel like I have like a line right here on my forehead. Again, I don't know how well that's translating to camera, but yeah. So I am starting to get a little bit gunky around my nose, like a teensy bit, and that's just mostly from this shine. So if you guys do have powder that you carry with you throughout the day or you are blotting, you might need this. If you have oily skin, uh, this might not be the foundation for you because my skin is pretty dry and I feel like I am looking pretty dewy right now. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and then it'll be time for the final checkup. All right, so here is the extreme close-up. I feel like I can really notice my pores in this, like just in this area for some reason. It's kind of strange. Um, but you can kind of see the texture on the skin and then you can even see down here how it's just shiny all over. So again, blotting powder is definitely a must throughout the day. And then here is a close-up of what my forehead looks like. Again, I feel like this is wearing super well on my skin and I'm really impressed. And I will be back at the end of the night for a final check-in to let you guys know my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so it is 8.05 p.m. I've had this foundation on for just about nine hours, which I think is a pretty good test wear, basically like what you would wear in a typical work day, maybe an hour or two less than that. Um, I feel like the foundation still looks good. However, I just like, I can't get over like my cream contour not blending into my forehead. It's still driving me nuts. I can't believe like I've been going around all day looking like that. But anyways, um, I still feel like it looks pretty good. I didn't really goop up in a ton of places. I can see it starting to sort of break up around my nose. And I can also see some areas around my nose where it's rubbed off just from me touching my nose throughout the day. It's also disappeared from where my sunglasses were sitting on my face. And it's definitely starting to break up sort of right here where my concealer meets it. So I don't necessarily know that this is supposed to be like a super long lasting, long wearing foundation. However, I do like the coverage and I do like the finish of it. 
it is starting to get a little bit goopy, like a little bit tacky since it is the end of the day. But other than that, I think that it wore pretty well. I'm going to do one more close up for you guys. Right now we are super up close and personal. I still just feel like this area right here, you can see my pores really well. You can see some redness starting to poke through my acne scars. And then like right in here is like where it's starting to break up. Like I feel like now with the lighting you can see it. And you can also see where it's rubbed away on my nose. Let me zoom you guys in. So let me see if it will focus right here. Um, if you guys can tell, it's sort of starting to break up on my nose area as well. And you can see where it disappeared right there from the sunglasses. And the forehead. Normally this is my problem area with foundations, but I do feel like it looks good with the exception of the cream contour. So my final thoughts on this foundation, I hate the color selection for it. I think that it's awful. <laughs> um, I don't really think I'm going to be able to use this much, unfortunately, in upcoming months because it is so dark and it's already too dark for me now. I'm only going to get more pale as winter goes on. By the way, I also like, I'm sorry, my video looks green. It's kind of driving me nuts right now. Uh, don't know why that is. But other than that, I do feel like it does have really great coverage. I feel like a little goes a long way and it did last pretty long. I would recommend just bringing some powder with you throughout the day to touch up. If you do have oily skin, I am concerned with this for you because my skin is pretty dry and I feel like I'm pretty shiny looking right now. So for dry skin, I think that this could be a good option for you if you are able to find your color selection. All right, that is gonna wrap it up for today. Let me know if you have tried this below. And also, if you guys have a favorite drugstore foundation that works great for dry skin, also leave that in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.